Hi, I'm Liz, Manager of Community and Social at Niantic for Pokemon Go. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm a senior game designer on Pokemon Go. When planning Pokemon Go Fest, one of the most important things that we want to do is bring trainers together in the real world to experience playing Pokemon Go together. Go Fest is full of so many amazing activities, from special research to special Pokemon to catch. We're introducing a new feature called Global Challenge Arena, where you're going to work with other trainers to beat special challenges. And if you do it fast enough, you're going to be able to unlock special bonuses during that hour. When I think about Pokemon Go Fest, I think about trainers traveling from around the world to come together in one park to trade, encounter Pokemon, and what you're doing right now, complete special research from Professor Willow. Every year we work with our partner at the Pokemon Company to choose some of our favorite Pokemon and Pokemon that we think trainers from across the globe are going to love. This year, there might even be a special mythical Pokemon who's going to be extra excited to see how victorious you are. One of my very personal favorite features, special research, is returning to Pokemon Go Fest this year. Trainers, you've guessed it. Professor Willow needs your help uncovering a strange phenomenon that's happening in your area that we think might be related to a special mythical Pokemon. Actually, speaking of special research, that's something that Laura and I work on very closely because that's narrative and game design. While Liz and her team are hard at work on the narrative, the game design team is busy working on figuring out what fun activities you'll do during the story. From sending gifts to friends, catching Pokemon, and maybe even a few mysteries this year, you're gonna be hard at work helping the professor. It's gonna be a blast. It's an extremely collaborative process that we then submit to the Pokemon company to make sure we get their stamp of approval. There's gonna be all sorts of fun things from trainers across the globe to participate in, but it really takes a whole team to pull this together. Game design and narrative are actually two small pieces of the entire Pokemon Go Fest experience. As Laura said earlier, there are many teams that put in hard work to make sure that this event is a success. Let's hear from them. Hi, my name is Lena. I'm a technical artist on the design team in Pokemon Go. Hi, my name is Kevin and I'm a technical program manager at Niantic. Hi, I'm Paul. Uh, I'm a UX designer here at Niantic working on Pokemon Go. I'm Daphne. I'm a technical lead slash manager and senior software engineer on Pokemon Go. Hi, my name is Stock, and I'm a product manager at Niantic. Hi, I'm Veronica. I'm the product marketing manager for Pokemon Go. I'm Jessica. I'm a QA lead on Pico. I'm Marcus. I'm a QA lead on Pico. Hi, I'm Kelsey, and I'm a designer on the marketing team. Hey, everybody. I'm Errol, your social media manager for Pokemon Go. My name is Kathy. I work in the operations department for Pokemon Go. Hi, I'm Anna. I'm a member of Niantic's legal department and I work with Pokemon Go. Hi, I'm Tian. I'm a marketing manager on the live events team here at Niantic. Hi, I'm Liz, manager of community and social at Niantic for Pokemon Go. Hi, I'm Laura. I'm a senior game designer on Pokemon Go. I'm Michael, director of marketing and live events at Niantic. The live events team is in charge of putting together all of the pieces uh, from conceptualization uh, all the way down to execution and making sure that every team within Niantic is aligned and all set uh, to put together the best experience possible for players. To accomplish that, uh, we're responsible for communicating between all the departments, uh, keeping in mind the overall goals of the GoFest experience and what we want fans to take away at the end of the day. We started things off this year working with our game design team to figure out uh, what the player experience was going to be like uh, and how we could adapt some of the traditional in-person GoFest elements like habitats uh, into something that's a little bit more dispersed uh, and global in nature. A key part of many GoFest is a team lounge experience. This year we've looked to create a virtual team lounge uh, which you may be in right now watching this video um, and we're hoping that you can come to this virtual team lounge to relax, um, win some prizes, answer some trivia, and feel the GoFest spirit. Taking the Pokemon GoFest global this year actually opened up quite a few opportunities that we've never been able to tap into before. For example, for the first time ever, we were able to create a two-day GoFest experience. So what was really fun for us to think about this year was, how can we create a two-day experience that was unique each day and was full of surprises that trainers can uh, enjoy over the course of an entire weekend? For GoFest this year, I've been working with our uh, game design, engineering, art, and other teams to put together 
a play at home or play wherever you are experience that uh, trainers all over the globe can enjoy. One of the pieces that we are most excited and most proud of this year is the Global Challenge Arena. Uh, hopefully everybody's had a chance to participate already, but it was really important for us to come up with a way for everybody around the, the world, really, to feel connected and contributing to these uh, massive goals. This will be the first time ever inside Pokemon Go where you can track that progress. Another smaller piece that I'm really proud of because I got to work on it very, very closely is a small ticker saying who's playing now. And you get to see all of the different cities that are currently actively participating in the challenge and contributing. So being able to show which cities we're playing at the same time, as well as you may have noticed we've got some social media images from our trainers coming through inside the app as well. Um, all of these were sort of initiatives that, uh, to make people feel more connected on a global scale. And we're, we're really happy the way that everything's come together. As a UX designer, uh, myself and my team touch every aspect of the game from swiping a Pokestop and getting items to throwing a Pokeball, uh, catching Pokemon, battling and raids and PVP, uh, pretty much everything you see uh, that you interact with. This year for GoFest, I designed the UX around the challenge arena um, found in your Today View. I wanted to feel like the entire Pokemon Go community was coming together for GoFest um, to collaborate in uh, online challenges. I thought that uh, showing players that all these countries were playing would be a nice way to show that uh, and also uh, show them a list of, uh, of their friends that were also participating in the challenges and get a good sense of the uh, impact that like, oh, we're all playing together like Pokemon Go. A technical program manager works with uh, engineers, tech artists, product managers, marketing, ensuring that the engineering team has no obstacles. We have to make sure we've got the appropriate bandwidth for all of those users and that they can feel like they are playing together and they can see their friends playing with them and catching and doing GoFest right along with them. As a TPM, you know, we're working to ensure that our players really enjoy this game and it's easy for them to download and use and play and share with others. So what I did for GoFest was create the map effects. So that includes the um, grass type, fire type, water type, uh, and the raid and friendship hour. The Pokemon Go map is such an iconic part of the game and there's so much visual information that the players take in. So as a designer, we have to be really careful finding that right balance between the making the map effects exciting and not making them distracting. Working on a project like GoFest, it involves a lot of different teams. We talk a lot with products, we talk a lot with game design, we talk a lot with the artists. We all come together on you know, a plan and a, a spec for how we want the GoFest features to operate. We had to really think about the, the design and how we wanted to structure the code in order to be able to facilitate such a large scale feature. Um, and it really took a lot of conversations with back and forth with game design and with the UX team to really figure out and nail down like what what gets to the core and the essence of a feature at, but also allows us to ship on time and and still make the experience really fun and magical for our players. QA is quality assurance. Uh, we're responsible for making sure that the product matches the product spec and that we can find as many bugs as possible before release. So for GoFest, that means that we are making sure that the effects that you're seeing, that the quests are being completed, that the build is working exactly the way that it's intended to work and that you have the best experience possible. When we start work on a key art piece for something as big as GoFest, um, first we think about obviously the location and then we think about the Pokemon that we want to feature the type of accurate environment uh, that they live in. And then we start to composite all kinds of photography, sometimes our own photos, a lot of stock photos, and then we just have some creativity from there. We also think about some fun little Easter eggs sometimes, like 
you know, incorporating some hidden Pokemon or a fun little fact. But yeah, it's a lot of work that goes in, but it turns out to be a really fun image at the end. The marketing team at Niantic for Pokemon Go basically oversees any and all external communications for the game, whether you're looking in the game at our in-game news or our large campaigns that we run, like the Team Rocket takeovers, or even the different various events we run throughout the world. Anything that we do on the marketing team is a huge group collaboration. Within Niantic, we'll do a lot of brainstorming as a team. We'll come up with ideas across the board. We'll work with the Pokemon company on how we create a story arc to a campaign that makes sense. I'll tend to think through how all the different pieces are fitting together strategically, and also how we make something that's going to hit our product goals at the same time as building something that's on brand. So what do we do for Pokemon Go Fest? Well, we do a lot of things, but you know, TLDR, um, our job is to really take in that experience that our players are having on the ground during Pokemon Go Fest and creating a campaign that translates the same feeling, the same energy to our trainers who are following us on our social media pages. Overall, we just really want to encourage, you know, trainers to connect with one another through our social media. So by participating in this live stream, y'all are doing just that and we totally thank you for it. Um, but definitely do me a quick favor. If you have some spare time right now, go to your favorite social media platform and share out what, you know, like what Pokemon Go Fest 2020 means to you, or what are some of your favorite catches of the day? Or, or, you know, have, did you make a new friend? Or maybe you have a Go snapshot that you want to um, share out. Who knows? Maybe you'll see uh, that post on our social media page or in the app itself. This year, since GoFest is happening all around the world, um, we are trying our best to replicate that help desk experience and bringing it to you through our in-app support. To ensure you have the smoothest GoFest experience possible, we've staffed up our team to provide additional support coverage. You can always contact us in-app via the settings menu or on Twitter at Niantic Help. I'm personally excited about the print at home kit and I, I like the idea of us being able to bring you know, go fest to our homes and, you know, anywhere we are. So I just am I'm personally excited uh, that we get to display our Pokemon Go spirit to everyone out there. I'm really excited to see how trainers come together and, and to see them, you know, really have a lot of fun with this feature and, you know, get to experience all the different little, uh, little goodies that we put in there for y'all. I had a lot of fun making the effects and I'm just really excited to see how people react to them. <laughs> I was most excited to see the habitats come to life um, and seeing all the great design work the team has done to really make this an amazing experience. The thing I'm most excited about for Pokemon Go Fest 2020 are all the fun surprises that we've baked into this event experience. Um, something we really pride ourselves in is being able to reveal just tidbits of the event uh, but wait for players to actually be immersed in the experience before they can discover everything that we had planned. This year's Pokemon Go Fest was a huge cross-functional effort across so many different teams in Niantic. I can't wait for you all to see what's coming tomorrow, uh, and I hope that you enjoy the rest of your Pokemon Go Fest experience. Thanks so much for tuning in trainers. It was awesome for us to have a chance to share with you the work that it takes to go into Pokemon Go Fest. We hope you got to learn a little bit today about how we make Go Fest happen. And I'm so grateful to the entire team for working so hard on it. And we can't wait for you all to enjoy it this year. Signing off from San Francisco, I'm Liz. Signing off from Seattle, I'm Laura. From all of us at Niantic, we hope you have an amazing Pokemon Go Fest. And let's go.